guys, it's Aikab and I am currently in Paris because I work for a fashion studio in London and I had to deliver a dress to Paris and I asked my boss if I could stay two, three days and she said okay. She's so nice and I love her so much. Uh, so I have to pay for accommodation but uh, she booked a ticket on Sunday because I arrived to Paris on Thursday so I could stay at least three days and I you know I took a Eurostar <laughs> I have to say it's much easier for security check and passport control it was like less than 10 minutes like I did it all in less than 10 minutes but uh, the train was ten. A uh, no, uh, train was not ten minutes. Uh, like an hour late. But uh, you could actually you can claim the compensation. Compensation. I don't know that is the word, but the compensation if the train is delayed more than sixty minutes. So yeah, that's something I think it's uh, good to know. Yes, it's raining. I know, and uh, I could hear the thunder. But isn't it so pretty? Oh, did you see that? It's like thunderstorm.
Dish is the apartment I used to live in Saint Germain de Pré. Guys, so I just got back to Airbnb and I ended up going to Monet's house. The weather was so bad in the morning, it was like heavy rain and thunderstorm was going on, but yeah, uh, it stopped raining by the time I got to Monet's house, and it was quite tricky to be honest because it's uh, I think the train to Giovanni, like Vernon, Vernon, I forgot Giovanni only comes once an hour at uh from sorry uh, from saint lazar station saint lazar station and uh, the shuttle bus from the Giovanni station or venon vernon station comes only once in an hour too so you kind of need to calculate the time and if you missed one bus you have to wait another an hour for the next bus so uh, I recommend you to check the uh, timetable before you leave. Mm. Uh, so there was a queue to enter the house, but it was not too many, I think. And then the flowers, nice. I think this season is perfect to go because it, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of blossoming. The flowers blossoming, and you can see like a rose and lots of other flowers and. The pond was nice and I really enjoyed just walking around. It was quite chilly but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed and oh, I got this like a uh, candle at the shop. Uh, it smells so good. I, I wanted to get like two or three of them but it cost like 20 euro each so I just ended up buying one but I recommend to do and uh, after that I went to um, yeah I went to the like, center of the Paris and I went to Shakespeare's bookstore but <laughs> the time I got there they closed so I couldn't go in so tomorrow I booked uh, Yves Saint Laurent a workshop I don't know it's what they actually going to do at the workshop I I'm going to St. Lolan Museum like exhibition and I booked for this uh, workshop and then maybe Versailles if I have a time I want to go Versailles and I also want to go a costume museum too yeah like tomorrow I want to do a lot because today I just couldn't do much so yeah to be continued. Mm -hmm.
So this is the last day and I'm going back to London. Uh, yesterday I went to Ibn San Lola Museum and I joined a workshop that was good and I went to a costume museum and I ended up going to Versailles. <laughs> so this is quite a uh, funny and disappointing story. Uh, I booked a 5 p.m. entrance ticket, like time slot, like 5, uh, 5, and then I went there 5.30 and they let me in after 30 minutes later, okay? And I thought they opened till 8.30 because I googled, like, uh, googled, like, what time does I open till today? It said 8.30, so, okay, they opened till 8.30, I have enough time. Turns out, like, turned out only the garden opened till 8 30 and the palace closed at 6 so i only had 30 minutes but i didn't know so i walked slow and i was taking time and then look at the apartment who used to live there i mean the interior was nice but even before i reached a ball you know the what's called the ball uh ballroom yeah ballroom or Marie Antoinette apartment or room I was kicked out I couldn't see the main part of palace like I just saw like the beginning of Versailles and that's it <laughs> I was so bummed I was like oh <laughs> seriously and but i went to the garden and i had to pay extra for fountain show which fountain show just finished uh right after i saw just one small fountain show i mean i enjoyed walking around the garden but it, i guess it was my day and then i went back to uh, paris and then um, i got this delicious crepe it was really like one of the best crepe i ever had i ordered caramel butter no salted caramel butter crepe i was eating while i was walking down the street guess what i bit it like i had a bite and the all the butter splashed on my cord and yeah it's it just splashed on my corn and dress and then I tried to wash it after I came back home and couldn't uh, it didn't come out I couldn't get rid of it and I'll show you in a moment see it look it's uh, I'm sorry it's quite disgusting looking it's like it looks like kind of bird poop but it's a butter <laughs> uh, yeah I tried to wash it out but it didn't come out so uh, <laughs> And I think the dog could smell. I mean, it was dark, so nobody can see the stains. But like the dog could smell, I guess. And they, uh, the dog tried to jump on me. And <sighs> it was one of those days. Anyway, uh, now I'm heading to Garden Nord because I'm taking the Eurostar to go back to london and i i think i'm going to leave my luggage and then walk around paris a little more and then buy some souvenir for my co-workers and yeah back to london so i hope you enjoyed the film and see you next trip bye bye